Hey, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys can hear me great. As you see, got a new mic, got a new mic, leveling it up, got to level up. So, hope you guys can hear me. Okay, thank you again so much for tuning into another episode on this YouTube channel, Brian's Place. Um, this won't be like a long, drawn-out Bible study. Just wanted to share something with you um, and let you know that God sees you. God sees you. Um, if you have your Bibles or a Bible app with you, please turn to John chapter 48. Beginning with, I'm sorry, John chapter 1 verse 47. That is John chapter 1 verse 47. It is great to see you guys on here. Thank you again for, for tuning in. I truly appreciate all the continuous love, prayers, encouragement, and support. Um, Doing great things, 2021. So yes, John chapter 1, verse 47. And it says, When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is, no, in whom there is nothing false. Verse 48. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Amen. So a little backstory. Philip had called Nathaniel to be a follower of Jesus, to walk with him with the other disciples. And so Jesus said that he saw Nathaniel even before, before um, Philip had called him. And so... There's other times in the Bible, like with the blind man, where, where Jesus was walking and he saw the blind man. He didn't just see the blind man and his stigma, but he saw beyond the stigma and into the, into the blind man, where others looked at the blind man and all they saw was a stigma. The, Jesus looked beyond the stigma and saw the blind man. And so... Um, have you ever like been in a crowd and like you, you know, you see people passing by in a crowd, but then someone in particular catches your eye? And I imagine that's how it was like, um, you know, how Jesus didn't just look at him, but he, he saw him, you know. Have you ever known someone like that who like to everyone else, they seem fine, they're smiling all the time, but... You're able to see beyond their smile and you are able to see that something is going on beneath their smile, you know. And so um, Jesus said he he saw him. And so I want to let you know um, God sees you. God sees you, God sees you, God sees you. Um, there's this story, I don't know if you've heard it, this man had this big aquarium of tropical fish in his house. And one night he went to sleep and forgot to turn the thermostat down. And so he woke up the next morning to find all the fish floating at the top of the fish tank. They're dead. And the man asked the strangest question. He asked, I wonder if the fish cried out in the night but no one heard them. He said, I wonder if the fish cried out in the night, but no one heard them. And so likewise, I don't know who this is for, but maybe you've been crying out, just hoping someone isn't too busy with their lives to see you, to notice you, to see beyond your smile, to hear your cry. You may be like those fish trying to cry out just to get someone's attention in those late midnight hours. But I want to let you know that God sees you. He sees you, he sees beyond your brokenness and into the person that, that you are. You know, broken crowns still color. No matter how many times you break the crown, it still has the ability to, to color. So not only does God see you, but you are still valuable to him. There was a time when Jesus was feeding the multitudes, and it says he blessed the bread and broke it. He blessed the bread and then he broke it. So first he blessed the bread and then he broke it. So 
Being that the bread was now broken doesn't mean that it still wasn't blessed. Being that the bread was now broken does not mean that the bread was still not blessed. So no matter how broken you may feel, you are still blessed. You are still the incredible, amazing person that you are and know that God sees you and he's got you. He understands the language of your tears when you don't know what to say. When all you can do is cry yourself to sleep, he understands the language of tears. You know that he's, he's, he not only sees you, but he loves you. His love will meet you right where you are, and his love will carry you through whatever it is you are going through. So just wanted to really encourage you guys with that. So God sees you. So... As always, this is yours truly, BDP, Brian David Porter, living in purpose, on purpose, intentionally. Until next time, you guys be blessed and be encouraged. And remember, God sees you and he loves you greatly. Love y'all to life.